Today's video, we're gonna show you how to take a vinegar bottle and turn it into some gorgeous altered bottles. We're also a part of a collaboration with our friends, so we're gonna drop a link below for more altered bottle inspiration. We're gonna be starting with the molds first. We're using frames one and frames two and resin. I'm using amazing casting resin. It's perfect for these molds, works really well, cures up in about, oh, 10-ish minutes, depending on temperature and humidity. And I'm just gonna mix equal parts side A, side B, stir it up, it's gonna go cloudy, and then it'll go back clear, and then when it dries, it hardens a nice white color, which is perfect for what we're doing today. It's very neutral. I've got the IOD frames mold and the frames two mold. Ironically, there's two molds in here. And just gonna fill these up. This one here takes quite a bit of resin. Oh, it's gonna need more. We've been keeping an eye out for these to finish curing. They're still pliable. You can see I'm bending it. Oh, this one is not very much. That one, here, let me have it. You better microwave that. No, we, we still got time. You're just gonna have to get aggressive. All right, well you aggressively right, Pull that one out and start forming them. All right, so while they're still <laughs> soft, if you hold them on the bottle, it'll form to the bottle and then you could just glue it on. If you wait and they get all the way hardened, you can microwave them for like 15 seconds. Just be careful because every time you microwave them, once they cool down, they get even harder. All right, this one might need microwaved. I'll go do that now. All right, I'll just be here holding these bottles. So I'm coming. My job is to hold these until Zeb glues them and then I will get painter's tape and we will tape these on. So this is Gorilla Glue Max Strength Clear Construction Adhesive. We get asked all the time what we're using to glue these on. It's our favorite and works super well. You'll see why in just a sec why you we You can love get this. it in a small tube. Sorry to interrupt you, but I just want you to know. You can get it in a small tube. We also get asked that a lot. Any bottle will do. You could also use, I'm trying to think what else comes in bottles like this. You see how I just barely glued that and it's not sliding, it's not moving. That's why we love this glue. For extra strength though, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this on here. If you use air dry clay instead of the resin, you can also use painter's tape to hold it in place, but you can't mush on it or else you'll mush the clay. How's that one in the microwave coming? Um, it's probably ready here. Okay. That I'll, one's ready for I you to this. tape. Make sure it stays straight. All right, that's better. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. If you don't have a microwave, you can also use a heat gun. All right, here. I'm just gonna paint these with little black dress. They're just little wooden knobs. They fit perfectly on top and we want them to kind of look like stoppers in our bottle. So now we're gonna see if the glue worked and they'll be ready for paint. Has it had long enough to dry? I think so, it looks pretty stuck. Well, they should be formed. Either way, the plastic no, at this glued. point, the resin, will be formed to the bottle. So the DIY paint will stick to glass, resin, everything. I'm gonna stop when I get to the inside of the frame because I wanna keep this white so I can decoupage over it and there's no need to paint it and then paint it white. So we're just gonna get the paint on here. The glass is slick, so I'm definitely gonna need a few coats on that. So I am brush stroking. Is that even a word, brush stroking? Anyways, it's going side to side because if this were pottery and not a jar that I painted, it, the grooves on pottery go side to side because it's turned. Go. Here's the bottles with two coats of Sandy Blonde. To buy the paint products you see us use today, visit jamierayvintage.com. We'll drop a link in the description box below. This is our new Advent decoupage paper and it's got 24 Christmas elements on it. This one is more religious than the Santa Claus postcard paper that we have, which is also available with similar elements on it. But we're gonna use these ones, decoupage them into the frames on the bottles, and then add some waxes and things and see where we're at. So I've got the paper on here, and this is probably gonna be the most difficult one. I'm just going to trace around. I already did it, but I'm just gonna show you how. I just kind of put the pencil in this lip here, and trace my oval 
The other ones I can just gauge. And then I'm gonna cut this out and try to get rid of my pencil marks. If I don't, I can just erase. And it doesn't have to be exact. We can feather in with paint and waxes and really blend it and make it look like it's been on there forever. Well, you can see what I'm talking about. This one's a nice rectangle. This one's gonna be easy. I can just cut it to size and I'll just make a little tick mark right here in that groove where I need to cut for my width and then up on the top, fill it with my finger, there's the groove, and then down on the bottom, there's the groove, and I'll cut that square. For my decoupage medium, I'm using DIY's liquid patina. It's a nice, thick transfer gel or sealer. It's a matte sealer too. And I'm gonna do the hardest one first because once I get this one done, it'll be easy peasy. So just a generous amount there. Center this as best I can. I don't have to be super crazy about the edges because Jamie's gonna come back through and work her wax magic. And then this is the part that really holds it on. I gotta get this paper pretty saturated. I'm not gonna worry about wrinkles. We're going for an aged, distressed look anyway, so that's fine. Coming in with the assist. That's done. We're gonna let that dry and it'll be ready to go. We left the centers unpainted because it brightens up the image. I'm using DIY's Pennies from Heaven Copper Patina and my 3 8 inch stencil brush. And because I already painted this, I'm just going over the top and not going all the way against the edge. So that way I don't get any paint on my bottle where I don't want it. I'm going to paint all the frames copper. We'll let it all dry. Then we'll clear wax the faded burlap and come back with some dark wax. So this is a one and a quarter inch stencil brush. Also works really good on wax. The bristles are nice and soft and this wax is really soft and creamy. And it makes it so that if I have a bunch of detail, I'm not like rubbing it off or reactivating paint and I can get it on here really quickly. Reason we're clear waxing first is we're gonna dark wax and the clear wax will enable us to be able to control how much dark wax absorbs into the paint. Jamie wants you to see she did paint the bottom. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna come in with dark wax and the copper part we did not have to clear wax because it already has a built-in sealer and we clear waxed everything else because we're gonna to wanna to dark wax the whole bottle and you need to be able to move the wax around. So I'm gonna use a larger wax brush. I just like to use the little one to get down into the detail. More construction adhesive. I just clear wax these, I forgot to film it, but these, I just clear wax them so that way they're sealed. They're a little bit distressed, but it'll tie the dark wax in and then they'll be ready for ribbon. All right, so we've got some little scarves on here. They're called bows. The bottles are gonna get cold. <laughs> I just put some random floral that we had laying around, some grain sack ribbon and some velvet ribbon. You could easily switch this out for a different holiday. If you guys want more altered bottle inspiration, check the playlist below. If you need the paint products we used, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Odilia was right though. We had those little black toppers on there and this is so much better. No, way better. Comment below. Did you like the toppers or do you like the floral? <laughs>